23 years old. He's our boy, Henry. You never would have cared months ago. <laughs> Doesn't matter. He shouldn't be here now. Will you stop saying that? What is it with you? Angie, there's something wrong with him. Henry, of course Leo isn't going to be okay. No, Angie. Hi, sweetie. Do you need something? No, I'm fine. Okay. Dinner's ready if you'd like to join us. Yeah, sure. You know, I envy you, Leo. I really do. <laughs> it's not every day that you have the opportunity to evolve into someone greater overnight. That an event is so important that you recognize in real time how to grow from it. Almost as if the Lord himself is giving you the chance to change. Corey never had that chance. <sighs> he was beyond saving. He was too weak to endure the things that people thought of him. Of course, there could have been worse ways for him to go. I consider him dying in his sleep an act of mercy unto himself. Is this your way of consoling me? No. This is my way of showing you mercy. Now get the fuck out of my house. No way I'm leaving. The hell you are. Henry, you are not kicking Leo out of this house. Angie, Leo is... I know what Leo is. Then why are you not with me on this? Because it doesn't change the way I feel about him. Or even Corey. You're no different than you and I, Henry. Oh, don't go into that bullshit. Just as bad as the rest of them. Where are you going? What makes you feel so above us? Why is this so hard for you to accept? Just because the world is changing doesn't mean that I have to change. <laughs> Leo could have led a fine life if he would have just kept quiet about it. Hell, Corey would have still be alive if they hadn't been so open about it. How can you even say something like that? People like you drove us to become the outcasts, and now you're upset that we're not complying with your rules? We're not the problem! You are! It's not my fault that you people keep sh shoving your lifestyle in my face! You're so old-fashioned. We wouldn't have to be doing any of that in the first place if you hadn't driven us to be silent. Just like your father. You do not compare me to my father. What are you going to do with that? What is wrong with you? Let's just talk about it, Henry, please. How do you justify kicking out your own son? Just hear him out, please. What are you doing? Henry, please. Stop that. Leo, you don't have to go. What the hell is wrong with you? Henry! That's enough, Henry! What the hell? You forced my hand, Leo. You think this is what I wanted to happen? I hate being here. I just wanted your support, but you never cared. You're not going back in this room. Damn it, Henry, stop! What the hell is your problem? You've never put your hands on Mom before. This is about you! Enough! Stop! 